In you go! Sit tight and no funny business. Good work, you two. I'll take you from here. Uh, but she's a core member of the gang, a real criminal. Can you escort her on your own? Are you questioning the ability of the Janus Quarter's criminal investigation team? Not at all. This is the weapon and purse we found on her. Uh, be careful of her tail. She's a shifty one. All right, wait for me. I'll also take the paperwork on her. You two are just uh, understood. understood. You're quite the little officer. I've never seen you before. My name's Tomia. I'm a new member of the force. Captain Ju Yuen assigned me to pick you up. Thank you <laughs> for providing crucial intel to us during this operation. Did you bring all my things? Yes! Makeup remover, casual clothes, a new phone card, and fresh IDs are all here. Uh, allow me to uncuff your hands. <laughs> Ma'am? Oh, why'd you take them off already? Keep it down. There could still be people around. Just get in. Mm -hmm. That a rainy night, smoky eyes are bright. Lips thin in the moonlight, you got me and your spell. You got my hand is spinning, you are my bell. Has the raid already been completed? Oh, it's in progress as we speak. Thanks to your brave determination, we were able to... <laughs> what are you? <sighs> uh, Ma'am? Uh, Miss Jane? <clears throat> I'm just changing. But in the car? I don't want to step out in disguise, right? <laughs> Besides, an honest, brave... Cute little public security officer like you wouldn't dare peek, would you? N no, absolutely not. Ahem. As they mentioned, they infiltrated huh? smuggling gang on your own and skillfully disbanded them from the inside. Better keep your eyes on the road. What, what are you doing? I'm turning off all the cameras in the car, just to be safe. After all, only a select few in public security know my true identity. Oh, gosh, uh, your tail touched me. Oh, did it? it I'm just turning off your body cam. <sighs> oh, that was close. <sighs> so, what were you saying about the operation? You didn't finish. I... I was just going to say that I really admire your work. Huh? <laughs> this is the new Eridu Evening News. An illegal ether trading case was uncovered in the city this afternoon. Eight gang members and their female leader have been arrested. The key to cracking the case was Public Security's Evidence Department oh, discovering wait, about a crucial... that. Uh, because I can't reveal your identity. Eight people. Hi, what? Including me, there should be nine. Huh? <laughs> what do you know? Stop the car. Oh. Huh? Wait! You're not going alone, are you? One got away. I'll help clean things up. I can go with you. Huh? You've got something to clean up too, don't you? He just grabbed his tools and bolted to the front. That place was crawling with ethereals, and our dude didn't even bat an eye. Hey, anyone uh, sitting here? Nah, go ahead. Thanks. I only found out later this dude's some big shot at Bellabog, so I'm like telling off my future boss. <laughs> <laughs> here, take a drink. Thanks, man. Ooh. I got my win back. Hey, uh, you're new here too? Got some wild stories okay. to share with everyone? Wild stories? 
We're telling each other all the crazy stuff we've experienced at work. We're a company specializing in in hollow construction, after all. Hmm. All right. You're probably too young to have too many tall tales. <laughs> I've got plenty. Huh? Like, about a year ago, I was in a construction accident. We were supporting a Defense Force fortification when we accidentally fell into mm, a hollow pit. I need pit. to use a different anti-corruption coating. <laughs> huh? Sweepy? Many of us fell into different places in the hollow. I kept falling and falling, and I realized I was in an unfinished building, and at the bottom was a pool of wet cement! If I fell in, I knew I'd be done for. So, I immediately got on top of my hammer, and I went cement serving instead! <laughs> Seriously? Duh! So, I'm surfing around, and found some trapped co-workers. Hey. They probably also fell in when the space in the hollow shifted. I'm here! Then all of a sudden, a few ethereals popped out of nowhere and attacked us. Luckily, I'm short. I mean, smart and fast. I immediately dodged, but my hammer was going too fast. We just couldn't stop, and we all went flying into another fissure. And guess where we ended up in the end? We got back to the construction site! The one we fell from in the beginning! <laughs> And then, just as we got back, we found a group of gangsters trying to ransack the site. Huh? So we all fought them off together. Huh? Why are you all so quiet? Uh huh? <laughs> You're a good kid. You really had us going. <laughs> had you going? What do you mean, had you going? It happened! There you are, President. Looks like some ethereals managed to get on site. Uh, for the sake of security, huh? it's best if we take uh, them out. President? Got it. Tell the logistics team to evacuate. They can resume work once on site response handles this. Understood. I'm on it. Kid, are you. Uh, ma'am, you're the president of Bellabog? You're Kaleida Bellabog? Yeah. Why so nervous? Though, didn't you just say I was making up stories? <laughs> Wanna find out if they're true? Then come on, let's go! <laughs> don't test me, and don't try me. Tiny things are known to be almighty. A leader of Some say cats are indifferent, aloof creatures. Hot or cold, however you treat them, they respond with the same detached nonchalance. You think you're tough, don't you, kitty? Looking for trouble here? Ugh, chill, man. She wasn't in our way. Always whimsical. Ever capricious. You again? What you doing up there? You're gonna Maybe fall. you beat us before, but this is Red Fang Gang's turf. Watch yourself. Well, whoever thinks all that, they don't know anything about cats, really. Cats don't want to be anyone's toys. What we want is an equal relationship, like that of friends. Only when we think you're worthy will we get close. Oh, hey! It's Nekomata and the gang. Thanks so much. This is a huge help. The next recipient is on the next street. Keep pushing! Dude! I am pushing! <sighs> I'm beat. <laughs> Great job, Nekomata. With you around, he won't slack off. No, cats aren't indifferent. We just have a pride uniquely our own. Do you hear the Red Fang Gang? They... So they also went down the wrong path. Hey! What are you trying to say? 
I'm gonna tell you this one last time, okay? Direct order from Silver. No one is allowed to mess around in the warehouse except for the guards. <laughs> Please, let us go. Shut it. Be quiet. So, the rumors are true. Silver. The Red Fang Gang is now kidnapping people for ransom. <laughs> Sullying your reputation. Betraying the people's trust and the promises you made. And you don't even give a damn? Stay out of this, Nekamata. Seriously, boss might like you. But that don't mean you can just ignore orders. Don't make this difficult for me. Okay. Just... Let me feed these kids. One last time. <laughs> What are you doing? Told you. I'm just feeding the cats. Hurry! Run! Ne Nekomata! When Silver finds out about what you've done, you you're gonna regret this! Whatever. I doubt I'll ever see him again. Actually, I'll doubt I see any of you Red Fang Gang guys again. Remember, we took you in when you were just a stray! Ah! Didn't I just tell you? We cats have our own pride. I'm not Red Fang Gang's pawn. I no longer approve of the things you do anymore. So, maybe we'll run into each other if you find the right path. Suitles! Get back here! Get these filthy animals off me! Hey! Hey! They go me on my I won't fit as last. But some of us aren't made of steel or battle ready on break. It's them you should be thanking. Hmm. Huh? Them? <laughs> the what? This can be deceiving. Something's Something can be with me. Checkmate. Oh no! <laughs> what is with this game? Oh, wanderer lost. Do you know the rules of this forbidden domain? <laughs> Number one, no trespassing on private property. <laughs> Violators will be punished. Yeah! <laughs> 
Number two. The children will be rewarded handsomely. As for the naughty ones. but a mere bangboo. Show some mercy. Ah, well then, Sir Lycon, please accept it. <coughs> I have recalled a task I've yet to finish. Please excuse me. Hmm. Then, Corin? Huh? <sighs> Number five. Don't need anything made by Rena. Oh, no. Unless you're me. Ellen, you have to join the track team this semester. Yeah, didn't you break the school's record for the relay race in last year's sports meet? Uh, but that's too sweaty. I can go watch when it's on, though. Wanna join the drama club, then? We're doing the musical The Maid of the Sea, and there's a role that would be perfect for you. Musical? Singing in front of people... No thanks. Any jellyfish with no lines? Hey! The guys next door have been keeping low key lately. You did something, right? Hmm? Not yeah, me. Yeah, right! Just join the fight club already! Please, have mercy. Popular as always, Ellen. Oh, yeah! So there's this new restaurant. You want to study there after school? Hmm. Studying on the first day back. That's not like you. Uh, Ah, oh, Ellen! All right, we're gonna gossip. Mm. Uh, I can't today. Why not? <sighs> hey, Master, here's your heavenly blue heart bubble burst drink. The protection targets at table seven? Got it. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Master. Here's your order. Would you like a touch of magic to enhance the flavor? Uh, no thanks. I'm just waiting... Have a great day, Master. <gasps> Bringing you lots of love. Look carefully, he's somewhere around here. I'll check over there. What are they doing? Over there! Don't let him get away! One, six, Over by the staff corridor! Three, four, five... Wait! Hmm? Six. I could have been out studying with my friends today. Hey! Out of the way! What's this maid doing here? Move aside! Enough talk! Get her! So, you're the ones responsible for my overturn.
Grace Howard. You are an invaluable member of the Engineering Institute and my most exceptional student. March proudly into the future. Nothing can hold you back. <clears throat> the goal is simple. Based on Uncle Horse's prototype, build a new class of construction carriers that are lighter, easier to mass produce and maintain. It's a slight deviation from my original major, but my goal is to create a child that's smart, adorable, kind, and strong. Above is the development log for the new in hollow special purpose industrial machinery by Grace Howard Entry One. Just put it over there. Good girl. Let's keep pushing forward together. Great. Basic framework verification complete. Data simulation successful. <laughs> I really am a genius. Main power unit on. Hang in there, kid. Whoops. That was the circuit breaker. Grace Howard. New in hollow special purpose industrial machinery log. Entry 85. The power unit degradation has been fixed, but the voice command system seems to be a bit glitchy. The command test. Shut down. Huh? But shut down. Whoa, whoa, wait, stop, stop now! Behave! Stop! <laughs> Is everything okay, sis? How'd you get hurt? <sighs> we should change the energy deployment plan. You listening to me? Come here. Uh, oh, yeah. That hamburger today was really good. Nobody asked about lunch. And we had chicken. Uh, be gentle. This is Grace Howard, the new <sighs> in hollow special purpose industrial machinery devlog and tree 163. I seem to have underestimated the difficulty of the logic cores application. Looks like I need more specialized knowledge. Seems unlikely. <gasps> That's it. Hmm, or is it? Command test. Move forward. <sighs> New in hollow special purpose industrial machinery development log entry 327. The test failed. I think I know in why. Log entry the advanced test failed. Perhaps due to issues with the command analysis program? Entry Success rate is not up to par. I'm still investigating. Position. No thanks. I'm not hungry. By the way, don't let anyone bother me. Hold on. Hold on. It. Just like that. Ugh. Damn! Grace Howard, you are an invaluable member of the Engineering Institute and my most exceptional student. March proudly into the future. Nothing can hold you back. Nothing can hold you back. Nothing can hold you back. Grace Howard here. New in hollow special purpose industrial machinery devlog. Number 1001. I have finally found a way to stabilize the system. It might require ether substance stimulation, which means nothing can hold me back. Just a little bit more. I'm begging you, wake up! Pleased to meet you, little one. Ever since I picked up my first coin, I've liked Denny's. That round piece of metal, shinier than a mirror. It's weight in my hand, so reassuring. It was one of the few nice things we ever got to have at the orphanage. So I immediately went to show it to my best friend. They kept her in the innermost room. She had accidentally gotten lost in a hollow once, and unfortunately, she was afflicted with terminal ether corruption. Sir, may... may I go outside? Oh, of course. I'll find a way. 
They get a protective suit for you. <laughs> You're kidding. That would be super expensive. I just wanna <laughs> see the sun one last time. As a friend, how could I ignore that? Was money for this suit all we needed to allow her wish to come true? She'd really be able to see the sun again? I rallied all the kids from the orphanage I could to help me collect Denny's. From one street corner to another, scavenging among houses, we set out at dawn and worked until the evening glow. Despite our hard work, all we managed to gather was barely enough to fill my little bag. Nicole, let's just forget it. What are you talking about? We can't give up now. Keep going! But it's impossible. How do you expect us to get enough money just by picking it up on the streets? Besides, uh, the sun's about to set. Getting more money won't stop it. Of course I knew what little we had wasn't enough to buy even a piece of that suit. But luckily, I've always been a clever little kid. You're right. We won't be able to get enough to buy that suit. So, should we go back? There should still be enough time to say goodbye. Hold on! We can't afford a protective suit, but we can still buy that. That round piece of metal, shinier than a mirror. It's weight in my hand, so reassuring. Because of it, I made my best friend's wish come true. This was when I fell in love with Denny's. They can even let you buy hope. Ah, oh, such a riveting story! Nicole of the cunning heirs! Uh, I knew the rumors were true. They were saying you're a cold-hearted cheapskate. Oh? So we have an understanding? Of course! This story is proof you're a compassionate and honorable individual. I appreciate your understanding in regard to the overdue commission fee. We'll make up for it with the next <sighs> payment. Tisk tisk. Huh? You didn't get it after all. The moral of the story is... Pony up the cash, or my childhood friend's gonna be meeting you real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Considering your willingness to cooperate, we'll settle for the interest for now. Andy! Billy! We're done here. Let me see how much. Oh, you're worth. Seven seconds. In about seven seconds, I'm going to fall into that black mass. That's a hollow. These disasters are happening around the world. Whenever possible, you should stay away from them. Me? I can enter them without issue. Because... It all started a few days ago. I was enjoying my lunch while waiting for instructions from my employer. The odd job agency, Cunning Harris. <laughs> this sucks! This is Nicole, leader of the Cunning Harris, and my superior. Under her leadership, the Cunning Harris have prospered. In the red! Again! We need a well paying job, or the Cunning Harris are gonna go bankrupt! Take it easy, Nicole. It's hardly the first time. <laughs> you should be used to it. This man, uh, correction, android, is Billy. He's also a member of the Cunning Hares, and my colleague. He's agile, and reliable in a fight. <laughs> Stop talking nonsense, Billy. Are you trying to imply that I'm not a good leader? The Cunning Hares have high operating costs. Like feeding you weirdos! Oh, here. I went through a lot of trouble to get you this commission. Recover the strong box, and my client will pay you enough to keep the cunning hairs in business. Deal? Wait a minute. That's easy for you to say. But that thing's in Red Fang Gang's hands. They're nuts and they don't mess around. It's your choice. Hmm? I'm not the one about to go bankrupt. Well, 
You know how to contact me if you change your mind. Nicole is an experienced leader who rarely makes rash decisions. Let's go! We've got a strong box to steal! This is one of those rare times. Get them! Those red bank jerks are on our tail! Master Billy! Don't let them get away! Are you buckled up, boss? Hmm. We aren't even going that fast. Cut them off at the next corner! Go, go, go! <laughs> End of the road! I have to tell that to my friend! <laughs> I got it, Nicole. Ha! Good job! And for that building ahead as planned. Awesome! We actually did it! Everything is going smoothly. Ha-ha! <laughs> the Red Fang Gang are nothing compared to my plan. Right. Another win for the Cunning Hairs. Or it should have been. In about seven seconds, I'm going to fall into that black mass. That's a hollow. These disasters are happening around the world. Whenever possible, you should stay away from them. Me? I can enter them without issue. Because... I'm a member of the Cunning Hairs, an expert in dealing with all hollow-related matters. Anby? Damara.